Hey everyone, how's everyone doing out there tonight? Blake here from BodyFit coming at you live from uh, North Bay here on this uh, Monday night. Uh, yeah, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, yes, it was a pretty good weekend. Uh, kind of a rainy weekend, but can't complain because I think we needed some, needed a bit of rain, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm, uh, I'm here in my kitchen and uh, I am going to be making another Electrolyte replenishing drink number two. Uh, if, you recall, if you recall from my last video, I uh, I did a uh, a lemon lime electrolyte replenishing drink uh, for after my cardio sessions, and uh, this time around uh, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, this drink is to replenish lost electrolytes from uh, exercise, like uh, from when you do a cardio session, or if you go biking or running or whatever it may be, uh, what ends up happening, especially in this wind and in this type of weather, we, um, we tend to sweat out a lot of sodium and potassium. And what that ends up doing is that it actually um, causes us to lose some very important muscular function when we get very low. On, on these electrolytes, mainly sodium and potassium. Uh, both are needed to ensure that our muscles function properly. You know, we want our bodies and our uh, muscles to function properly, to make sure to contract uh, properly. And sometimes what ends up happening is we'll do a workout, like uh, this weekend, for example, uh, did a really hard cardio session, uh, sweated out a lot of electrolytes, a lot of potassium, a lot of sodium, and you'll, You'll feel tired, your muscles won't feel right. Uh, the thing, most likely, it is from lost electrolytes. And uh, when you're low on electrolytes, as soon as your workout is done, you have to go and replenish your electrolytes. Uh, electrolytes being sodium and potassium, right? Uh, and a little bit of, a little bit of carbohydrates uh, to actually help out with, um, just to help to get a little bit of fuel into your muscles. And that's very important as well, because after a workout, your body's going to be low on carbohydrates. So it's just get a little bit of carbohydrate, just enough to start the replenishing uh, process. And remember this folks, uh, the sooner you recover, the faster your results are going to be. That's, that is the number one rule you have to remember, whether you looking to lose weight, whether you're looking to get fit and shape, get stronger, whatever it may be, the sooner you can recover from your workout, the sooner you're, go <laughs> you're going to get results. Uh, and one of the, the, the best ways to do that is to make sure that you get the recovery process started as soon as your workout is done. And this is a mistake a lot of people make, is that they do a workout and they don't bother replenishing lost electrolytes, uh, amino acids, and carbohydrates. They wait for an hour or two, uh, and then they'll have something to eat. But the thing is, folks, is you, you, the sooner that you can get something that'll help kickstart the recovery process, as soon as your workout is finished, your body's gonna start repairing and recovering. So as soon as you get that, uh, that, that process started, the better you're going to be. So what I'm gonna do uh, here is I am going to be making a electrolyte replenishing drink from grapefruit, orange, lemon, honey, a bit of sea salt, and some coconut water. Co <laughs> coconut water is absolutely fantastic. Um, the reason being with coconut water is it is a whole natural source of potassium. Uh, and it's fantastic tasting. It adds a nice base to any drink, whether it's a protein drink or whatever it is. It adds a very nice base. Uh, so, what are we going to need here? So, you are going to need one orange. Uh, one orange is about, probably about a half a cup of orange juice. You're going to need to squeeze one orange. You're going to need to squeeze one grapefruit. And that, it can be a pink grapefruit or a red grapefruit. It doesn't really matter, but squeeze one whole grapefruit. That's about one, close to one cup of grapefruit juice. You will need to squeeze one lemon. One lemon. Now, one lemon is about a quarter cup of lemon juice when you squeeze it. 
and that's exactly how much lemon juice we need. You will need two tablespoons of raw honey. Uh, that'll add a little bit of glucose, which will help kickstart the recovery process uh, for your muscles. You will need one cup of coconut water. Great stuff, I love this stuff. Coconut water is awesome. It's good stuff, believe me. And you'll need a bit of sea salt. Uh, about, you don't need a lot of sea salt, uh, probably about one eighth teaspoon of sea salt. So, you're gonna pour everything in a blender. You're gonna just you blend it up until your ice cubes are crushed. I'm gonna probably use about four ice cubes uh, for this drink, so here we go. One cup of coconut water. And you go. Half a cup of grapefruit juice. And you go. Quarter cup of lemon juice. There you go. Half a cup orange juice. And about two tablespoons, well, one to two tablespoons of honey. So we're just gonna add this in here. Honey's gonna add a little bit of uh, sweetness to the drink as well. But you know what, uh, the good thing about it is that we're not adding a lot of carbohydrates or sugar to our, uh, our recovery drink. It's gonna add just enough to kickstart the recovery process. Uh, Oh, we can't have grapefruit juice. Oh, sorry about that. You know what? Uh, just go without the grapefruit juice, uh, Trevor, and uh, you'll be fine. Uh, the grapefruit juice, like I said, it's just, uh, I like grapefruits. I always have like grapefruits, uh, but for some, I know uh, for something like my sister, for example, she can't have grapefruit juice either. So um, try, re you know, try uh, substituting with an alternate juice. Um, pineapple juice, maybe. That might be a good idea. Pineapple juice, there's an idea. Uh, so we're going to need one eighth teaspoon of uh, sea salt. Doesn't not a lot, just about just about one eighth teaspoon. So we'll add that in there. Now we are going to need ice cubes. Now I like having a lot of ice cubes in my uh, in my drinks, just because uh, it's summertime and it's hot out there. Well, not so hot out today. It's kind of crummy out there today. Uh, but I know on the uh, the weekend it was uh, it was pretty hot, uh, especially last week it was like up in the 30s, 32 degrees. So I like to have a little bit of uh, more ice cubes uh, than I usually have in my protein drink. All right, so let's uh, blend this up. Blend it up until the ice cubes are crushed. So I'm probably about This is our electrolyte replenishing drink post-workout, preferably for your uh, cardio sessions. All right, so let's get, test this out. Like I said, I like uh, I love grapefruits, uh, so I do love a grapefruit tasting drink. So let's see what it tastes like. That is good stuff. Oh, that is good. Um, the ice cubes really add a nice, uh, nice cool touch to it. Uh, but that's actually pretty good. Uh, so that is, you know what? Um, a lot of times uh, after a workout, we'll go and grab a Gatorade or whatever it is. Gatorade is just loaded with sugar, um, a lot of sugar, and a lot of stuff that uh, processed stuff you really don't know. Hey, uh, Lynn, how you doing? Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Lynn. <laughs> uh, but you know what? A Gatorade is just a lot of sugar, processed stuff. Uh, 
you know, it, this is much better. All natural, good stuff. You get a lot. There's a, probably about 600 milligrams of potassium, which is fits the bill perfectly for the lost potassium that you lose during exercise. It has about 300 to 500 milligrams of sodium, which again you lose when you sweat it out during exercise. Uh, and it has just enough carbohydrates to replenish the lost muscle fuel that you did during exercise. So remember, the faster that you can recover from your workout sessions, and one of the best ways to do that is to have a post-workout like electrolyte drink like this, and it's gonna get you on the road to recovery a lot sooner, more efficiently, and ultimately more effectively, and that's exactly what you're looking for. So. Grab yourself a drink. Try this drink. I'm going to post this um, this recipe and the other electrolyte recipe to the Facebook page, uh, to my Facebook page uh, tomorrow. So go back to my page tomorrow and download the recipes from my Facebook page. All right, everyone. I hope you are having a fabulous night. Have a great night. And uh, we will, <laughs> we will uh, talk soon. Hopefully pretty soon, right? Uh, <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. Remember, stay safe, stay strong. All right. Take care. Bye.